Hey everybody, it's me, Saigon Sam. It's uh, September 10th, 2009, and uh, this is the beginning of a several part series on uh, surviving and hopefully prospering here in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, otherwise known as Saigon. And uh, basically, if there's anything that I mentioned, particularly web websites or Vietnamese names that you don't know how to spell, have a look at the YouTube description on the right panel, and uh, it'll spell those out uh, clearly for you. So the first thing I want to talk about, because it is so central to living in Vietnam, or for that matter any country, um, is the visa situation. Um, the laws change frequently, and in fact uh, there were some changes just last week that affect uh, uh, retirees and people who'd like to stay here long term. Um, one of the main changes was that it used to be that you could uh, easily obtain a six month uh, multiple entry business visa uh, from a foreign consulate and uh, basically stay here on that visa and then renew it as I understand uh, every six months up to three years uh, at which point you get a new visa. Uh, now however the law has changed and uh, my understanding is the only way to be here uh, well there's, there's essentially two or three ways. One is um, you can seek permanent residency um, which is uh, challenging but it's doable if you marry a Vietnamese or if you're married to a Vietnamese. Um, if that option doesn't appeal to you uh, you can get a job here, in which case you can get the six-month business visa, and as long as you have a letter from the company, uh, you can basically renew it without much difficulty around every six months, and it costs about 90 U.S. dollars, uh, which is actually very reasonable compared to other countries in the region. Um, and the last way you can come here is on a tourist visa, and uh, as I understand, the maximum tourist visa now is one month, so that actually is, is the most difficult option because Yes, well, in principle, for instance, you could take the train to Cambodia or the airplane to Hong Kong, uh, you know, once every month, uh, get a new visa and turn around. That's obviously not a practical way to live. So, unfortunately, if you're just looking to retire here, um, I would have to tell you the only realistic way to do that, as far as I know at this time, is short of marriage, is, is to get a job here. And uh, if you're an English-speaking, very fluent uh, English-speaking foreigner, um, that generally means an English teaching job. Um, I can tell you a little about that. Uh, basically, English teaching jobs pay about, depends, but about $1,300 to $1,600 a month, depending on where you work. Um, that compares very well with typical, you know, white collar, blue collar local salaries, which are anywhere from maybe $80 to $300 a month here. So, you know, the engineering degree, maybe that you worked eight years for, um, is not necessarily worth even you know a quarter as much as the language you learned by the time you were six years old. Such as the growth rate here economically, and such as the demand uh, to converse with the international community. Which you know that's a great sign. This this country is growing quickly, um, and at least there's a way for you to make a living um, if you choose to live here long term. Um, so. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this first part one, and uh, next up I'd like to discuss some basic water issues with you. Take care.